Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 36 tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use the return statement and uh, return values from functions back to you know the calling part, right? So I've got a PHP file here, and uh, the name of this file is return.php. On line number six in this file, I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 12, I have the closing PHP tag. And then on line number seven, I have used the function keyword to create a function called hypotenuse. And uh, this function is going to accept two arguments. And uh, you know, I have named the dummy variables base and per, which is short form for perpendicular. So what this function is going to do is it's going to you know ask the user to pass in you know a value for the base of a right angle triangle and the value uh, a value for the perpendicular, and it's going to calculate the value for the hypotenuse for the right angle triangle. So we will use the Pythagoras theorem here, and uh, as the theorem states. You know, the value of the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is actually the square root of the sum of the squares of the base and the perpendicular. So we've used the SQRD function here within the function definition. And uh, you know, uh, as an argument to it, we've uh, multiplied base with base to calculate the square of base, and we've added to it you know, the result of the multiplication of perpendicular with perpendicular. So square of base. Uh, you know, added to the square of perpendicular, square root of that is our hypotenuse. And uh, well, this is the calculation of what we want to return. But you know, what's interesting to see here is that I have a keyword called return here. And this keyword is going to return this value to, you know, the place where this function is called, right? So it's not that we're using the echo statement here, because the echo statement kind of restricts you to, you know, just do like one thing with the value that you are uh, calculating or you know whatever you're processing in your function it just allows you to display it let's say you don't want to display it but you want to use it for further calculation you know like uh, you want to you know get one value from one function and get another value from another function and you want to add those two values and display on screen right so you would want to use echo then in the main script and not inside any function right so and you know actually you could also use it within a function because it's also possible to call functions from within functions and we're going to check that out later on maybe in the course but for the time being let's say you want to not see the result of this operation from within the function but you want to see it from outside it so that's why i have an echo statement outside the function definition on line number 11 and uh, i'll you know first see the text hypotenuse and then I have called this function hypotenuse and as arguments to it I've passed 12 and 5. So I'll save the file and I'll go to my browser and the name of the file as I said is return.php. So I'm going to look for return.php here and when I press the enter key I see hypotenuse is 13. So in a right angle triangle with sides 12 and 5 the hypotenuse is 13 because 12 square is, a, a square is 144 5 square is 25, so 144 plus 25 is 169. Square root of that is 13, right? And if you change these values to, let's say, 4 and uh, 3, you know, my favorite values for base and perpendicular in a right angle triangle because the hypotenuse will be 5. Huh? 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of that is 5. So, you know, that's how this function works and how the return statement in PHP works. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this one. And you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Till then, take care.